How's it feel to be a Philadelphia Flyer? Um, obviously, it's a, it's a childhood dream of mine. Childhood dream of every guy is here. So just to hear your name called, um, super surreal feeling. Kind of kind of get a loss for words, but obviously really excited and, and honored to be drafted by Philadelphia. What was it like when you heard your name called? Um, uh, to be honest, my heart kind of stopped. Uh, I was just like in shock almost, and then kind of let it sink in. And was happy to happy to get to hug my parents and my family because without them, I, I wouldn't be here today. So. Joining uh, Knight's teammate and Oliver Bach. Yeah, yeah, he was uh, he was sitting a few rows in front of me, so I got to uh, hug him on the way up. So uh, obviously, super exciting, and it's cool to know someone that we're gonna go to camp together. So that's that's cool to know someone to go to. So. Debra, you had a strong playoff performance this year. So what was it when you got to the postseason where things kind of clicked in for you? Um, yeah, kind of just that do or die, more intense, more in physical, uh, more physical hockey. Um, I just knew um, if I wanted to make a long playoff run, um, I was one of the top top offensive guys so I had to really step up my game so um, kind of just bringing it every night and, and bringing an, an intense and, and competitive edge. Deborah, are there any NHL players currently or in the past that you sort of model your game after? Yeah I used to say Mitch Marner but uh, I kind of like Braden Point now um, just uh, really really skilled fast forward but uh, really gritty and, and competitive he's not afraid to go in the corners and, and use his body so um, I, try to, I try to play similar to like him. Can you kind of use him you know, as a model because he was also kind of an undersized guy and worked himself into being a top yeah, player. Yeah, exactly. Obviously, he's he's not the biggest, but um, he, he plays bigger than he is. And, um, yeah, he's just a really competitive human being and, and uh, not afraid to go in the corners. And um, when you're a smaller guy, you can't be afraid to do that. So I feel like he shows, shows or he plays bigger than he really is, and he's had a lot of success in the NHL so far. Yeah, you've been described as a 200-foot player. How much pride do you put into your defensive game and working on that? Um, yeah, so kind of like Dale, um, obviously my head coach, uh, he, uh, he really cares about the D zone. He, he really keys in on that. So I think uh, he's, he's a key contributor as to why I'm, I take pride in all three zones uh, on the ice. And um, we do a lot of D zone work uh, in practice, and I think that's helped uh, my defensive game as well. And defense leads to offense. So. Are there any specific skills that you think define your game right now? Um, on the defensive side, I'd say just my hockey IQ. Um, I think that allows me to anticipate passes, anticipate plays, and, and kind of read them, and uh, maybe intercept the pass or knock down a pass out of the air or something like that. And um, I think just my skill um, and my competitiveness allow me to win battles uh, in the corners and, and make skill, skillful, um, smart hockey plays. What do you know about the Flyers organization? How do you think that your game will mesh with them? Sorry? What do you know about the Flyers organization? How do you think your game will mesh? Um, I don't know too, too much yet, but obviously I know Daniel Breer um, is the GM. So um, obviously he was another smaller guy in the NHL who found a lot of success. So um, being able to be around him and, and learn from him will be cool. And um, I, I know Morgan Frost a, a little bit, so um, maybe he'll text me in the, in the next few hours and get to know him. But just excited to get down to Philly and, and meet everyone. So. How do you know Morgan? Um, he's from where I'm from, so he's from Aurora uh, in Newmarket, so I have a few skates with him, and, and I see him around the odd time, he'll always say hi. So. Is he a guy you look up to as well a little bit? He's not the biggest, but immensely skilled. Uh, Morgan? Yeah. Um, yeah, obviously um, he was from my hometown, so uh, I, always, I watched him growing up and stuff like that. And, um, I remember this year I went to a Leafs game on Christmas break and, and he scored like a goal and had an assist. So um, obviously really, really skilled player, really good hockey player and just cool to see him grow up and, and find some success in the NHL now. What's it been like playing for the Hunters in that hockey factory in London? Yeah, it's great. Obviously uh, they're a storied franchise and, and they've produced NHL players for years on end now. So um, it's really cool to play for them, but uh, it's a process and you kind of got to trust that with them. And, um, yeah, obviously uh, a lot of fun and excited for the next few years with them and, and hopefully winning a Memorial Cup or something like that. Is it easier to trust the process when you see year over year guys constantly getting drafted? Yeah, yeah, obviously um, you see guys that come out of the program all the time. Um, just, yeah, it helps me trust the process. You see um, guys that go different rounds and all that, just trusting Mark and Dale and, and know what they're doing for you now is going to be the best for you in the future. So mentioned Oliver Bunk, just how yeah. pumped was he for you? Yeah, he was uh, He was pretty pumped. He actually texted me last night. He's like, I got a feeling Philly's going to take you tomorrow. So um, obviously that, that was really cool to be taken by him. And um, yeah, pretty fortunate uh, that I got a teammate to go to Philadelphia with uh, when camp comes around. So um, just super exciting for both for the both of us. Are there any improvements you think you'll need to make to your game to eventually jump to the pro level? Yeah, obviously, um, big thing is uh, like strength. I need to get bigger and stronger and continue to get faster um, o over the summer and stuff like that. And I think that'll that'll allow me to be a bit more comfortable and make the jump a bit easier when uh, when I need to play pro.